Yeah. You're, you're, is this real right now? Are you dead ass? Yeah, dude, this is hella yeah, crazy. What the fuck? Yo, nah, y'all are fucking with me, bro. Y'all are fucking with me. This shit is. I'm so, I'm so sorry, bro. That was not real, bro. There's no way that was real. Nah! Bro, I thought I closed that shit out yesterday. Bro, I'm gonna tell you what. You're a psychopath for being a laptop beater because that doesn't make any goddamn sense. That's too much screen. See, I'm not even mad at you because, bro, we all be beating our shit, but on a, on a laptop is crazy, man. That's like work shit. You're, you're, is this real right now? Are you dead ass? Yeah, dude, this is hella crazy. Yeah, no, 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 no. Stop playing the upper I'm happy that it was just you. Yeah, nah, you're lucky it was just me, bro. Fuck. <laughs> you're mad lucky it was just me. Bro, I honestly. Dude, this will never happen, bro. My bad. Nah, but we fucking with you. Yo, you guys are an bro. I felt so bad for you, bro. Fuck you. You a psycho for beating your shit on the laptop. You, you, you said you want a good surface area and shit. You're like one below the kids who used to like pull up porn on their Xbox and it was on like a 16 screen. That shit is insanity, bro. I can't believe it. Nah, bro. Of course, bro. What? Y'all are fucking. I, nah, I'm already fucking with this. This is great. I, I I got pulled up on and uh, porno played in the first like 10 minutes of me being here, bro. You guys are gonna give me a full blown panic attack. Hello, I'm Eric DOA. I'm here with the whole snack. And today, we're trying Korean snacks. Okay, there's this guy named Eric Doa, and like he's kind of like a cool new artist. And I probably make his name I think his music's awesome. Shout out to him. That was extremely fucking unexpected because. I was in a studio session in LA. I was working with this dude named Oliver. And I was chilling, I was just like chopping it up, just playing beats and shit. And then I looked at my IG and I got a request. And I was like, it's Addison Ray. I was like, Addison Ray? Like, Addison Ray, like, no. And I was like bugging the fuck out. I look at my phone and she was like, yo, I just mentioned you in an interview. And I was like, damn. She was like, I said your name wrong too. And I was like, it's all good though. Like, still dropping it, but yeah, she's cool as fuck. Her and her boyfriend, Omer, Omer Fetty, he's a, he's a great guitarist. He's Is that a, how you guys met? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a great guitarist, producer, all around philanthropist. Go. God damn. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. This is looking green, and greens I'm allergic to. So gotta make sure that this is safe. What is this? I'm gonna do a walk real quick. Okay, just like, like a salted like sardine. It tastes good as fuck. You actually like it? Let's fuck with this. It's actually dried anchovies. Dried anchovies. Shit fire. Dried anchovies. <laughs> My breath is gonna be hot as fuck <laughs> after this, but dried anchovies. Fire. Cold sign. And my favorite song of Then I'll Be Happy? <sighs> Dude, they're all good. Not to like dick ride myself, but I personally think they're all good. But um uh, <laughs> I can't think of any of the songs. Um, there's a song, Mental Anguish. That's my favorite one. I like that one. Favorite song off Then I'll Be Happy? Can't say the same song. Fuck, <laughs> man. All right, so the my favorite song off of Then I'll Be Happy is definitely... Bro, I had a really fun time making the introduction because it's like the first time that I've ever produced on something that we released. And it was just like... Coming out to that every night with him was like nothing I could ever explain. Like that song was like such a great environment that we made it in. And just to see how it transferred from us sitting on the floor in my basement to fucking like performing it in real life was great. Like being able to run out there and have him be like, oh, come on, it was sick. Do you have a most memorable night? Most memorable night? Or just any memory from tour? Any memory? <laughs> Bro, all right, so me and Zetra, my best friend, DJ, everything, uh -huh. we were in Chicago and we were walking around after the shows and um, we ended up getting lost and shit like that and we went to clubs. 
like we, we, like we were getting into clothes and shit. So we went into this club, right? Expecting it to be teed. It's, it's, it's Chicago, bro. Like, you know, people are on break, like it's lit. We go in there, bro. Double ARP fest. Everybody's like 45 to at least 60, bro. Like this shit was behind me bugging the fuck out. We were looking around, people were in that bitch, like, you know, doing the tussie roll and shit. I'm like, losing it, man. I was like, I'm just trying to chill. Like I was sitting against the wall. I'm like, bro, everybody in here like a stockbroker and shit. Like I'm trying to go home. That's something I remember. Summer Smash was hella sick. Bro, all right. This is this is a story that I, I like I want to tell because this is another club story. Um, not to like get anybody in trouble, but me and Ash were in this like club that I'm not gonna say the name of to not get them in trouble. And we were in a section and I think we were like the two like youngest people in there. And we got one of those signs in a big ass bottle of champagne. Then it said like Eric DOA and Glaive and like a bunch of bottle girls brought it over and there was like sparklers. And I was just like, damn, if Ash's parents see this, we're fucked. <laughs> Am I just gonna like raw dog? Trivia time! Oh, oh bro. Time. Go, Jesus right? Christ, y'all are gonna give me a fucking panic right, attack, man. Alright, so this is trivia time. Yeah, I'm on the side where we win. Pull up a beat, pull up a beat, pull up a beat, pull up a beat, go. You know that guy's on Because I'm him, yeah. You know that guy gets on him? Uh, can we win? I don't know, bro, I don't know. Are you dead ass? Uh, I, I don't need no singles. Motherfucker. Uh, one. Wrong. What you, two. Where's the other one? Two. Where was the other one? That's, that's the missing question. That's what everybody's been asking about that. Oh man, I, I only watched the second season. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Can you just stop whatever you're doing? Uh. Hey. I'm in the club. I'm watching the cast drop. Daddy. My bro had porn on a laptop. Yeah. Uh. I, <laughs> that's all I got for you. Bro dead ass had porn on the laptop. Oh, damn. For the madness and everybody was making, you know, stable bread, I had a very, very good Eric DOA delicacy. And that was a hot dog ramen. I used to get a pack of Franks. And I used to cut those bitches up. Throw them inside of a pan, sear them to a little nice, you know, texture, get the ramen going, you know. I fucked it up a couple times, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. God damn! See, I don't got a spice tolerance like that. Shit, my nostrils are screaming right now. Fucking Christ. Things with Wings has been about almost a two year long process of me and all my best friends just experiencing life together. And that's what I'm happy to give out, man. It's, it's, um, I'm sorry, bro, my sinuses are about to explode. Goddamn. Uh, yeah, nah, it's been an experience like no other. And I think the most memorable session, I think, was the second or third time that we went out to LA. And we got this really nice B&B. And we just sat there and just saw the skyline of Los Angeles and we talked to each other for just hours on end and we just made music and it felt like a different type of, you know, moment. <sighs> Shit look like a brain, bro. I'm not even gonna hold. Thing is though, we respect food from all cultures. We respect food from all cultures. <laughs> Damn, man. It's fish, right? Yeah, it's some part of a fish. Yo. <laughs> if you got me on camera eating fish meat, I'm never in my life going to live this down. And I know exactly who's gonna who's gonna text me this all day, every day. Yo, he ate fish wee wee, bro. He ate fish penis. <laughs> All right, thank God, bro. Wait, do fishes even have dicks? Leave it in the comments below if, 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 if fishes have penises. So what that was was egg sac, but it's like marinated. You just have me eat fish balls? No dicks. No, you it's not their balls. <laughs> it's like their egg. Oh, so. Okay, so I just ate an egg sac.
Yeah, I looked at it for three weeks straight. Didn't spend a dime. Not even literally besides like moving into a new house. Didn't spend a dime of my money because I was fucking terrified. And I would look at it for like three weeks straight every day. I could have mad people tell you that I did not spend a dime of my fucking money when I first got it. But um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Like it's, it's a situation that like, you know, I grew up not spending money a lot. So, you know, after that happened, I would still live the same way. My roommates had to tell me to stop like, you know, living like we don't have, <laughs> like we're, we're not in a position where I can eat normal food and shit. I remember like I was making hot dog ramen downstairs in our beautiful kitchen and my roommate's like, nah, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. You gotta go to like a Michelin star restaurant and like treat yourself. I was like, yeah, nah. So low key, like, you know, it took me a little while. But yeah, so like, I'm gonna say like the first big purchase that I did that wasn't even that fucking big, probably like a like something I wanted off grilled for like fucking like maybe like two, two years. So what I would do back when I was in my old crib is just, like shit on Grailed, pretend to buy it and be like, yeah. Yeah. but now I don't even have to pretend to buy the shit. Oh, you want me to just raw dog it like that? Nah, I'm, the I'm, Korean way. Oh, bro, I'll do it the Korean way. Hold up. Just like, just like, I literally just, just powder and just that's yeah. it, no water. Yeah, I just take it in. You trying to have me do the cinnamon challenge with vitamin C, man? You want me to choke I on it? That's how I do it. Mm-hmm, it's just far. It's my favorite one so far. Besides, so far being chilly. I was thinking about this literally the other day and I'm very happy you brought this up. Self-deprecation as an artist is the thing that fucks over a career very, very, very quickly. Um, I was a child when that was being written and I look back on it. And it was an extremely like selfish and um, just immature version of myself that looked at the world with the outlook of why me. And I think that um, it, it taught me a lot. And I hopefully, uh, I hope it taught a lot of other people a lot because um, that whole entire, you know, interview was just like showing me what I truly was thinking like and what I truly was at that point. I was a person of, you know, extreme self-loathing and extreme, like, you know, immaturity. And that, you know, reading that over after, you know, hitting a couple milestones reminded me, wow, I was sitting there complaining about my life and, you know, treating myself like nothing because, you know, that's just how I thought I had to you know, be or whatever in my mind as, you know, however I old, how, however old I was when that came out. Um, but yeah, man, it, it's, it was a learning experience and the art of being down bad, whatever you want to call it, was something that uh, just showed me that you cannot shit on yourself because it is going to be people accepting that they can just shit on you as well. And that puts you in such a, you know, scary, um, you know, pre-made box that you don't want to put yourself in as an artist because all we want to do is create, man. You want to create, I want to create. Everybody watching this probably wants to create as well. So, you know, putting yourself in a position where you're already going to trip over your lace as soon as you start running is never a situation that you want to be in. All right, we got a lot of stuff coming up and I cannot wait to share it with the world. And we got this tour. We got, you know, a single coming out, you know, after, who, who knows when this comes out, but we got a single coming out April 8th and then whole tour and then album in May. So, we outside, man. Let's go. All right, this has been Eric DLA eating Korean snacks.